small video. It's something like, um, let me see. Something like the 26th, 27th of February. It's a leap year, I think. I'm not sure, it might not be. Um, no, I think there's only 28 days. Anyway, I've come on the what, bus on number five today. I was going to go Sand Bay, but you wouldn't believe it. Outside of this wood, it's fierce wind. This is a bit protected in this, like, coombe area. Outside of here, there's fierce winds. And, uh... I decided Sand Bay would be too exposed and freezing. So I decided to forget about it. Um, I, I've just thought I wasn't going to come up this way, but there was some. Um, I didn't want to always like going the same way all the time. I thought I'd. Risk going up towards some steps that are up there. Anyway. That was like a person for a minute there, look. With a beard. It's funny how shapes can take on different forms from a distance. I can hear a woodpecker as well, drumming on the... <sighs> yeah, I did the other lower route a couple of months back. I thought, because it's more always more sheltered in the wood, I thought I'd do a wood walk and maybe tomorrow venture somewhere else. <clears throat> Not far though. This, the weather's appalling. Compared to previous years, this is probably the worst year for getting out. Other events going on, um, yeah, her cousin Barbara, I think she's the third cousin so many times removed from the Fletcher branch of the tree, whose family emigrated to Canada in the early 1900s. They fought in the war and everything, and died in the wars, some of them. She's, she was born in 1941 and she's died and she, she's just died. She had lung problems. She had been a smoker in the past. She was a good person, a nice, kind mind, who was, my daughters used to, Georgia especially, used to communicate with her, and even Corin, my granddaughter. She was good, I liked her a lot. She was good, she had an open mind. Video two of the February Walk in the Wood about the 26th, 27th of February, 2020. Carry on. As I was doing the other video, I had to turn off because my phone rang. This is Western Woods in the midwinter because it is now. It's a month till springtime. A whole month. And this is the Western Woods, which I do all year round. And you can see an awful lot of their bareness and the sea out there, Sand Bay, from here. This is a window of opportunity for walking in the woods today, which I've taken. I was going to Sand Bay, but the wind, I can feel that wind down there in exposed Sand Bay. It would be fierce. 
So I'm doing a nice round walk today, all around the wood. That would be my walk, because I really need it. Right, I'm going to take some photos now. Over and out. Video 3, walking through the wood with these beautiful tall trees. Further up near the hill fort, they are clearing an area of lots and lots of trees. But these trees are big, well established. The odd one falls over, but I really, really hope they don't try and knock these down because this is an absolutely beautiful walk here. I love this walk. I, will be, I, won't, be, I won't be happy with them at all if they try and pull these down. No way. I'm, I'm, it's bad enough with the fort. I don't really know why they're doing it. I, I won't help them, Claire, no. They asked me if I want to join in, I said no. They ignored me then. <laughs> now it's beautiful, it's just so beautiful here. These trees are so majestic, I love them. They provide oxygen for the town. These people just want to rake everything up. Destroying habitats, everything. Look at this tree, it's been here for a long time. Beautiful big tree that I love. I love these trees. No, these people think they own the, the wood. These people that are doing this. They think they own this wood and it's theirs and they can do what they like to it or it isn't just their wood. No, it ain't. Now today I'm going on a very slippery walk. Which I don't really do this time of year. Not this bit. Further on, where I normally turn off. There's more. Which I... Usually do when it's a bit drier, but I thought, no, today I don't care. I'm going for a lovely walk in my wood. Thinking of my cousin Barbara in Canada, who's died. She died on Friday. I think it was Friday, the 20th. 20th. Um, 21st, sorry. It could have been Saturday. It was whenever the 21st of February was, she died. A lovely, lovely person. A beautiful mind. And I, I miss her right away. Uh, because she's been with me in the early days of some intense tree work that I was doing on the Fletchers. She guided me from Canada across the ocean to find our, the grave of our shared great-great-grandmother Jane Fletcher Nee Yardley and other relatives I found a beautiful gravestone I cleaned it all up the gardener of the cemetery at Manor Park lent me his gloves and a trowel I spent, and I was visiting I was from Somerset up in London big London cemetery and I worked for hours clearing so I could see the grave. It was surrounded by other brambleized graves, which have since been cleared and rubbleized, and an open space there. Probably new graves will be put there eventually. Not far from the chapel. So I tidied that grave up. I've placed flowers there. And I've visited a couple times since, and I always place flowers while looking for other relatives. I found a lot. I found most of my grandparents, all my grandparents. One was cremated. The other three were buried. I found them all, all my grandparents. In little graves, in shared graves, in common graves. They were the poor people of the East End from Bethnal Green. The Smiths, the Stibes and the Woods. My own grandfather's grave is about to be rubbleized. He didn't have his own personal stone. He was in there with nine other people, strangers. They could have been neighbours. 
but he had a, there was a stone, no name on it exactly, and I placed flowers there. Foxes played nearby when I visited once, cubs, little cubs. His wife <sighs> scattered in the Garden of Remembrance. She lived to over a hundred. My grandmother Caroline buried with several other people, but her husband's not far away, but not buried with her. I didn't. It was poverty in the East End back in those days, in the 50s. My grandmother Caroline died in 1954, two years after I was born. And her husband, my grandfather, Arthur Frederick Steib, or Steeb, however you want to pronounce it. He died 12 years later, in 1962, when I was 10. I only met them a couple of times. I only met him a couple of times. They lived in poverty in Bethlehem Green. But for merge from them were people that made it out of there. Some remained. There was lots of successes in the family. They were survivors over the period of time that those families lived in Bethnal Green. My dad's family were fishmongers and butchers. They came from Kent originally, and probably somewhere else before. I'm still on the wood trails. Woods and smiths are hard to... to um, there's a lot of stuff to get through with those sort of people. And... Uh, so basically... Going back to Barbara, she initiated my visit to Manor Park, where I've since, that was a good 10 years ago, since then I have discovered online and from graveyard databases, many, many ancestors buried there, many relatives, many distant cousins, many near cousins buried there, loads of them. Manor Park Cemetery though, 50 years you've got to pay for the gravesite again. Otherwise someone else can go in there and all that sort of thing goes on. I'm hoping, I'm going to find out about James, Jane Fletcher because that's a beautiful, she is buried there, she should rest there in peace forever. Not have be disturbed, you know. So this, Barbara, this walk is partly for you. As you know, I always get a bit stressed about things. Rightly so. Rightly so. I usually go up there. This is a new route I take a lot if I want to come out by the water tower and all that. That's a new route I do. Like I say, today I'm going on a muddier route. I need a longer walk for Barbara. I used to... Barbara used to listen to my videos. I found a lot of her Somerset people still under dispute by some members of her family, but it, I, I have done an awful lot of work on it and I know it's them. There's the old route, based on this small tree with that M written on it. Some people still use that, they, they will always use that route because that's the one they've always used. I haven't done this probably for about a year, this one. It's got to be about a year. This is the mucky, the very mucky route, this one. We've had a lot of rain and there's more to come. But it's a good time to do this route because without the vegetation and the leaves, you do get to see a bit more. Now in the summer when it's, this is all leaves and there's loads of brambles and loads of shrubs. You can't see anything when you go along, you just see the path. But when it's like this, you can actually see around. See, there's a path there. That will lead down onto a, a main walkway that was constructed on purpose for people to travel from Western to Kewstoke. A designed landscaped path, which I also do at least once a year or once every two years. I've cycled it as well. Today I'm going to be walking along here until I come out to the steps 
leading up to the hill fort. And then I should have a walk up there and then back round and go down probably through Grove Park and back up the beach. The weather will change. I've got my umbrella. Um, I've brought a couple of oranges, a bar of chocolate. I haven't brought any water today. Um, I've got sweets. They're always good. The sweets are real lifesavers. They are. These little sweets I have. Mints and these butter things that last for ages. They really release glucose. Uh, this is, a, I don't class this as a massive walk, see? I mean, in the summer I always carry water. But look at the scene here, look. Isn't that gorgeous? I can zoom in to the path where I'll be on in a minute, over there, look. This is a beautiful wood. I really hope they don't try and pull all this down. I really, really hope they don't. This is beautiful. Woodpeckers, people, birds have got their nests in that air. It's a beautiful scene. I love this. Oh, I love this this walk. I'm going to turn off for a while now. So this, this is for Barbara. I want to take a picture. I might come back home.